Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. And thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. We really appreciate your support. We do not take it for granted. And we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again. Yes, guys, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. This one is coming from a dose state and is um, regarding the anti-open grazing law. We know that uh, uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago, South, South, um, Southern governors uh, rose up from a meeting uh, unanimously um, agreeing that um, this law should be passed, a ban on open grazing, that that will help to um, douse the tension and it will reduce um, the killings, to reduce the crisis in um, these uh, regions. We've seen that um, a couple of governors have gone ahead to pass the bill, but some still haven't. Edo State is one of the states that um, is still yet to pass the law, and we know that um, the governor has received them um, criticism. Uh, a lot of people have um, asked questions. They've put questions that why the delay, what is going on. Obaseki speaks right now. He's giving the reason uh, why there's delay in that decision and um, his own perspective. He wasn't at the meeting. He didn't attend the meeting, but we know he was represented by his deputy, Philip Shaibu. Well, we'll bring you all of the details in a moment. Before we do, guys, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. And if it's your first time, you're very welcome. Uh, please hit on the subscribe button. Thank you once again. Now to the news. Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State on Monday in Benin said that it doesn't make sense to pass the anti-open grazing bill into law without carrying it out by arresting and prosecuting offenders of the same law. Obaseki stated this at a stakeholder's town hall meeting on the proposed anti-open grazing law. He said that the delay in signing the anti-open grazing bill in the state follows the need to craft an implementable law that will put an end to the growing security and economic challenges in the state. According to him, we are one of the few states that have not signed the bill into law. And the reason is simple. To sign a law is very simple. It doesn't make sense to put out a law you cannot enforce. The best way of enforcing a law is to bring everybody together to be part of the law. We have a crisis in our country. It is deeply rooted. There are different causes why these are happening. Let us go to the root of the causes and resolve it from there. People have said that we have lived the hundred years together in harmony before now. Why are we not having this problem? If we don't go to the reason why, then we'll be scratching the surface. Let us start by understanding why we're having this challenge. To sign a law is very easy. It doesn't make sense to put out a law that you cannot enforce. The anti-open grazing law, in my view, is to deal with some perception. Uh, I just want to tell you that this is not an issue between Christians and Muslims. It is not an issue between the North and South. It is not an issue between Edo people and Fulani people. As long as we have decided that we will eat meat and drink milk, we will now have to sit down and rearrange the business on how we can get the people who are producing the meat on how they must organize themselves. Let us not play politics with these issues. Let us deal with the issues honestly and openly. There are security implications because some people have now joined and using these headers to perpetuate insecurity. My worry is that if we don't separate them to understand that the business in cattle herding is separate so that we can know those people who are using this cattle herding to perpetrate crime and insecurity in our state will be missing the point. There are people who are doing their legitimate businesses of cattle herding and producing meat and they are criminals who want to destabilize our country and our state, he said. In his contribution, the representative of the Christian Association of Nigeria in Edo State, Reverend Oriaki Davis, said the cattle rearing is a private business and anybody interested in the business should go and acquire land for such businesses. Davis suggested ranching as an alternative for open grazing, adding that governments should create cattle feed or import cattle feed for cattle headers to purchase such feed from government. Also speaking, the state chairman of the cattle dealers, Alaji Sahad Ahmed, said 
that about 45% of cows consumed in Benin comes directly from the north. Ahmed appealed to the governor to take everybody equal, irrespective of their religion and belief, saying that God has blessed Edo where they have been living without any trouble. He stressed that most of the challenges caused by headers are from those who are coming from far parts of the north to Edo. Governor Godwin Obasek is justifying um, the reason um, for the delay um, in this ban. But uh, the thing is that uh, um, regardless of uh, his perspective or what he thinks, this anti-open grazing, the, the bill has to be passed. There has to be ban on it. Because even aside the insecurity and the, the killings that the headsmen perpetrate, cows roaming around the streets, it doesn't look well. And that that it's even hazard. We've seen cases where cows are moving and um, they just attack people. They get into uh, just uh, uh, attack people. So it's not even a good one. the The world is changing. Development is there's development everywhere. Innovations, ranching. We can still do ranching, and um, the the northerners that are in the states they can still go on with ranching. So. Uh, I don't think that uh, uh, it's a, that, that would be good enough that um, just because there, there's no way to pr prosecute those who flout the law, then the, the bill should not be passed. If the governors have agreed, I believe that if the governors have agreed, but you know, he wasn't at the meeting. If the governors have agreed that this is what we need, then I don't think any state governor should be dragging their feet. They ought to go ahead with this. They ought to go ahead with uh, um, this. And the um, Nigerians are reacting seriously, and um, some of them are, are they feel like um, he's still not doing the right thing. He's still not doing the right thing. Someone else says that you were among the governors that met and took the resolution to ban open grazing. Why didn't you raise these observations, suggestions, or recommendations? If not politics, you are playing now. Just ensure that your people are safe. That is what I said. You know, they, they met together. But Obaseki was not in the meeting. He was his deputy. But even he, he, even if um, he wasn't there physically, he was represented. He was represented. So this person, is to him, he feels that um, that's still not enough excuse. It's still not enough excuse um, not to pass the bill. Another one says, Oga Obaseki, on whose side are you? Why are you talking as though you are not among the Southern Governors Forum? And that unanimously took the decision to end the open grazing. Why play politics with the life of your people? So people, many people still feel that uh, it, all of the reasons Governor Godin Obaseki has just given, they are still not good enough, that this bill has to be passed. Well, guys, let's hear your own take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.